Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 38 of our Angular Automation with Protractor, TypeScript and Cucumber course. And today we'll be talking about upgrading Protractor 2.x to 4.x and Cucumber HTML report from 2.x to 4.x. Well, it's been a while we have upgraded our Protractor code from 2.x to the latest version and since then many things have been changed. We have been using 2.0 for a long time and in fact there were many breaking changes happened and we started to see many problems reported by you who subscribed this course stating that while you upgrade the protractor or cucumber html report you get some kind of weird error and the reason is because there were many breaking changes happened ever since the protractor 2.0 course that we were talking about has been upgraded to 4.0 you can see 3.0 we have some breaking changes like custom formatter that we used for reporting is gone and similarly in 4.0 there were even more breaking changes that the define supported code is not being used and json formatter is now not being supported and all those stuff and cucumber js itself has been completely modified as well so some of the changes as we're talking about is this you can see that the define supported code is completely being removed and we don't really have to use them because it's obsolete and we can directly use the method something like this and because of that the code change is going to happen even in the step definitions you can see that the define supported code in the right hand side has been moved out and you can directly pass them as a constants for the given when and then and you can directly use it instead of just wrapping it around as a uh, method which is kind of very nagging before and now it is really neat and pretty so I really like the matter of fact the changes are really really good and these changes brought a lot of code breakage in our existing framework. Just not this one has changed but also the Cucumber HTML report. It has this change. It says that the code has to be separated from Cucumber JS execution from the after it method. So there is an after all method and where you can directly call the Cucumber report extension dot generate cucumber report if you try to call this method it is not going to work as well because it has to be sitting within the config.ts file that we have in the on complete object so that you can directly generate the HTML report these kinds of changes seems to be very very confusing initially but yes these are some of the changes which has brought our framework into non upgradable mode at least for running the cucumber report and most of the time I am getting a lot of questions from you stating that you couldn't move forward and it is kind of a blocker. So this video is for you guys who have been suffering into these kinds of pain points. So how to upgrade this? Well this is the upgrade path. You can see currently we have our Cucumber as 2.0, uh, 2.3.1. It has to be upgraded to 4.0.0 so you can just run a simple npm command it just shows you all the majors and minors versions so you can see that there are major ups here blah 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 so it seems like everything is major up and not even a single minor up which means it's really cool to see that we have to upgrade everything and how to upgrade everything there is a very very simple command it's npm update of dependencies so if you just run that it is going to run everything for you and you can upgrade all these older versions to the latest version so let's quickly start upgrading everything then and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Visual Studio Code. 